Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where we hold Bitcoin, we say BAM, and we look at the charts, blockchain, and life. Today, a TA video, short but powerful. I think five amazing charts. I'm keeping it short because it's Thursday. I don't know why I said that, but it's Thursday. But now, let's jump into the charts quickly, guys. One, two, three, four, BAM. Beautiful chart. This is the four hour chart. I've been talking about the four hour chart for a long time. The red line we break up, broke out. I told you the level was around 50k. We are now at around 49,300. Uh, 50k is the target, but the ultimate target, of course, guys, is around 53,000. Because if you look at the yellow line on the top over there, look, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, then you can see, and that yellow top had like a resistance there, resistance there. Should I draw DD? Yes, you should draw DD because else people don't see it. Resistance there, there two times resistance. There we had support. There we had kind of support, kind of support, support, support. You know, you you break down resistance, resistance. This line is a very important line, so we need to break that line um, in this run. Um, I think that could be happening. I think we are going up. Maybe we would retest this support line again but in on the one hour chart, for example, and then go up, but beautifully played. Um, is the Bam Bam indicator saying this as well? Let's switch that one on um, to see. Now, the Bam Bam indicator. Okay, first of all, this long, of course, was a perfect long. This is the four hour chart, right? And that long would have been taken over there and would have been exited at the short over there, a 15% long. Uh, with a leverage of 10 and uh, do the calculation that's more than 150 percent profit then that short was a good short um, but we wouldn't have taken it at the moment because look you see the short flag but also we see a lot of green um, so we wouldn't have taken that short this long on the other hand um, was still a doubtful long when it appeared because we had a long flag we had a candle closing above it the bam bam crossed but it was yellow and green and now the green dot is appearing so this long can still become a valid long, or you take a little bit more risk. You take the long over there, or you wait till triple confirmation, and then you take the long, and then you run the uh, right all the way to 53K. That is how you look at these charts. Quickly, next chart. Bam. <coughs> this is the day chart, guys. On the day chart, this is very important to see. Um, we had that resistance. You know, I told you yesterday, one, two, three days resistance. Bam. This one broke that resistance. And bam this one now which is closing in 16 hours is way above that resistance so we are going for that next level around 50k first so 50k is that um, a magical level uh, like always the, the 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 round numbers are resistance levels but when we break them we can go for the official uh, resistance at 53k um, which you can see for example here on tensor charts um, no not being paid to talk about tensor charts but just showing you look at the red area there's a one hour bitfinex and you see a lot of sell orders around 50k there's also a lot of buy orders all the way down to 47k you know this is all buying the green but these guys are selling so that, that's creating a little bit of ceiling here, um, a resistance around 50k. So many people will sell around 50k and we need more people that want to buy around 50k. So if there is more buy orders than sell orders, we will break 50k. If there is more sell orders than uh, buy orders, uh, then we won't break. Then this 50k will stay as a resistance. Next chart, bam, here, weekly chart, <clears throat> very beautifully. And uh, we are still in that long, like I said, that short it could turn into a long that was a short before here and i told you guys if we have this green candle coming up in this week and this five days and then that short will disappear and this will stay along that's exactly happening this could be a moment like here where we went broad thin and again extended broad thin and maybe again extended so um, we're still on the long still above the weekly ema ribbon and um, this one is very beautiful here on the bottom it's still red and we are down below the 40 level uh, the thing is 
The moment we come above that blue line, it needs to be red. If we come above the blue line and we are red at the same time, I will show you that it is very important. Why? Um, I will make this a little bit bigger like this. I can show you like this. Look, this is the last time we did that. We went from down below the blue line, above the blue line, and we had that huge run. So every time from down below to above, we have this huge run. So I think it's important that uh, we come out red above that one again. And really, really cool. Um, do I have other charts? Yes, I do have some other charts, but I still need to do a giveaway of some t-shirts. Do I have time? Six minutes. Oh, it's again a long video. But um, on this Saturday, I did a live. Uh, we had two uh, t-shirts to give away. So I'm going to give away uh, very quickly two t-shirts to people. Um, just like this. Bam. And um, in life. This one here. Nice. He wants to have a t-shirt. And you won a t-shirt. Please send me a direct message for details. Then I will send them the code and everything. So copy that one. Like so. That is the first one that won a t-shirt. Do we have another one? Just like this. Yes. Here. Nell Hubergen. Their t-shirt. Uh, I feel happy. Let's do another one. Bam. Over here. Karen de Koning t-shirt yes and do, let's do another one I'm doing them quickly now um, yeah this one here okay t-shirt now we had Sunday also alive so I need to do some t-shirts there as well there was the English AMA and um, first t-shirt will go to video study uh, for, for a shirt no, this one over there um, that one gets a free t-shirt uh, Best to go and check the interest in some project. <laughs> Not asking for a t-shirt. Here, up. this one, asking for a t-shirt. And let's do another one. Um, um, okay. Uh, there's a lot of questions now. Here, this one, knockout skipper, you want a t-shirt. So, that was all the t-shirts. Now, let's quickly jump. Um, by the way, guys. I, I was giving away t-shirts uh, like you see down below the videos I have these links um, here these ones this is digital nomad insurance really good one and um, if you um, are traveling um, this is the digital nomad school that we are using and here is where we book um, our flights and hotels and everything and um, to be clear if you want to trade then also make sure that you visit the links down below the trading videos and sign up to the exchanges using our links and to use, use Bybit, for example, which is an amazing exchange. Uh, $600 bonus, Femix has a bonus, Primex V has a bonus. They all have bonuses. That means if you start trading there, during uh, using our link, you get uh, this trading money for free. Now, let's quickly jump in the next uh, charts over, bam, over here. Um, two more charts, really cool charts. I want to keep it short, but I never succeed in this. Why, why, why? Uh, but yeah, let's see how I can um, try to show you these two charts. Um, it's, this chart is just very interesting, I think. It shows you the following. Um, the thermal cap is how much Bitcoin's value were mined by the miners. So the, the miners mined $30.8 billion worth of Bitcoins, which has a value. So we, we mined $30.8 $30 .8 billion of Bitcoins that has a value of $900 billion. So the market cap, thermal cap, um, this one here, is 29 times. So it's almost the miners did mine for $30.8 billion. 30 times that amount is 900 billion, that's the value. So yeah, mining was kind of profitable. Really cool to see. Um, that was just an, an, an average chart. And then this one, this is the last part that I want to show you. Um, not very important as a chart, but very important for the future of Bitcoin. Why very important for the future of Bitcoin? Um, why would Bitcoin be accepted in the future more and more and more? Because read this, the Gen Zers spent eight hours on time online. 95% of the teens report they have a smartphone or access to one. Over 33%, 32% of the Gen Z transactions happen on the mobile devices. 31 of the Gen Z's, Generation Z, is that, is it Generation Z or Z? I don't even know how to pronounce it in English. <laughs> See, would uh, 
uh, I received emails from brands a couple of weeks, 50% of them use their sh smartphones for five or more hours a day, 33% um, is persuaded to buy something after seeing it on social media, 43% is participated in product reviews and good company ratings and reviews make 60 to 10 so to buy. So this generation has the future and that generation that has the future is the generation that will use digital currencies as the most normal thing in life and that is why i think bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies will be also a peer-to-peer -peer cash because the youth is growing up with them like we grew up with debit cards credit cards and paypal they start to grow up with cryptocurrencies they start to grow up with other forms of digital currencies like my youngest daughter is playing roblox or something and they have their own currency bucks this is how they grow up. This is why this whole evolution of money is creating a revolution of the monetary system. And we as a community are changing the world forever. Thanks for watching this video. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about this one? Uh, not giving away t-shirts, giving only away t-shirts during the lives on Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.